This video is about equilibrium. So the question here is asking us to predict the changes to the equilibrium constant and the position of equilibrium when pressure is increased at constant temperature. So I've highlighted the key terms here for you. So the concept that we need to remember is pretty much similar to the previous video, the Le Chatelier's principle. So let's have a recap. The Le Chatelier's principle states that if a dynamic equilibrium is disturbed by changing the conditions, the position of equilibrium moves to counteract the change. So this is basically to achieve equilibrium. And there are three factors that affect this. Concentration, temperature, and pressure. So in accordance to the question, we will look at these two factors in more detail. Pressure and temperature. So if you increase pressure, the system will try to decrease the pressure. This depends on the number of gas molecules. So let's look at the example reaction once again. On the left side, there's one gas molecule, and on the right side, there are two gas molecules. So if we increase the pressure, the system will shift to the side where there are less gas molecules. So in this case, towards the left. And if we decrease the pressure, the system will move to the side where there are more gas molecules. In this case, towards the right. The second factor, temperature. When the reaction is endothermic, increasing the temperature will shift the system to the right. Because you're looking at delta H as if it is in a reactant. And if the reaction is exothermic, increasing the temperature will shift the system to the left because you're looking at delta H as if it is a product. So if we take a look at the equation given in the question here, there are four gas molecules in the reactant side. I'm looking at the coefficient, one here and three here. So four gas molecules in total. And there are two gas molecules on the product side. So increasing the pressure will shift the system towards the side where there are less gas molecules. So in this case, it will shift the equilibrium towards the right. So we can cross out. Now the second part of the question is the equilibrium constant. So essentially, this is the expression of the equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant equals the concentration of product to the power of its coefficient divided by the concentration of the reactant to the power of its coefficient. And so if we take a look at this example equation here, the Kc would be C to the power of 2 plus D to the power of 4 divided by A to the power of 1 plus b to the power of 3, right? And because it is a constant, it will not be affected by any condition except temperature. So for example, if we increase the concentration of something or change the pressure, the Le Chatelier's principle tells us that the system will counteract that change so that it goes back to equilibrium. So the value of the equilibrium constant doesn't change. However, it is different when we increase or decrease the temperature. So, if the reaction is endothermic, increasing the temperature will increase the amount of products because you're shifting equilibrium to the right. Therefore, Kc also increases. Because if you look at it this way, the numerator is increasing, making Kc a bigger number. If it is an exothermic reaction, increasing the temperature will shift equilibrium to the left. So now there are more reactants, and the denominator is a bigger number, which would make Kc smaller. So let's look at the question once more. So the question asks us what happens when pressure increases at constant temperature. So we know that only temperature will affect the value of Kc. So therefore, we can cross out A, and our answer is C.